What are the best games for week zero and week one for the 2023 season? Now we're 208 days away from the kickoff of college football. So what do we have to look forward to? There's still several conferences that have not announced schedules, but week zero and week one at this point should be pretty set in stone. So let's dive into it. We'll start with week zero. Navy versus Notre Dame in Dublin, Ireland. Now, this was a 35-32 to 32 game last year. Navy is now breaking in new head coach Brian Newberry, who was the D.C. for last year's team. This is also going to be former Wake Forest quarterback Sam Hartman's first game with the Irish. So a lot to look forward to there. Ohio and San Diego State. Now, this one, of course, at Snapdragon Stadium in San Diego. What will Ohio coach Tim Albin's team look like without star quarterback Curtis Rourke and with presumed starter C.J. Harris having a full offseason with the one? Like, we saw what they looked like without Rourke before. I'm curious now, as we head into this uh, into this Week Zero game, what he'll look like after having an entire offseason. That, that's what I'm curious about. San Diego State's offense uh, did look great in moments last year, but terrible in others. This is a fun G5 matchup to get things rolling in week zero. Now, we'll move on to week one. We'll start with honorable mentions, okay? South Alabama at Tulane. Both quarterbacks, Carter Bradley for uh, South Alabama, Michael Pratt for Tulane. They return for double-digit win G5 teams, so this could be a very interesting game. Florida at Utah. It's a big game in name, but Florida has some serious issues at quarterback and at offensive line. Uh, it's a big-time rebuilding year for Billy Napier and Bunch, and Utah gets their quarterback, Cam Rising, back. So... That could be a bit of a mismatch. Fresno at Purdue. What does Jeff Tedford's team look like without quarterback Jake Hayner? And then what does Ryan Walter's first team at Purdue look like, especially with new transfer quarterback Hudson Card and new offensive coordinator Graham Harrell? Uh, West Virginia at Penn State in week one. That's an old school rivalry. Uh, and of course, we are entering a season where West Virginia coach Neil Brown is going to be majorly on the hot seat uh, facing a Penn State team that is going to be a preseason dart. Uh, just be ready for it. Penn State's going to be top five in almost every poll. Uh, it's it's going to be nuts. Virginia versus Tennessee in Nashville. Again, this kind of a name game. This is Virginia's first game since the tragedy that ended their season early back in 2022. Uh, but still, it's a big season coming up for Tony Elliott. Uh, also for Tennessee, I mean, what does Tennessee do in year three under Josh Heupel? Uh, what is Joe Milton going to look like? Uh, will he even start or are we going to see Nico early? I mean, there's a lot of questions around Tennessee right now. Coastal Carolina at UCLA. Now, that likely would have been a much more fun matchup to see Jamie Chadwell and Chip Kelly's offenses going at it with those putrid defenses in 2022. But we still got Grayson McCall. We still got the wide receiver Sam Pinckney for the shot. And UCLA should still be good even without DTR. Uh, let's start here. Let's, let's do our countdown. Number five here, UTSA at Houston. You got a new AAC member against a new Big 12 member, uh, Frank Harris, the quarterback returns for the Roadrunners and coach Jeff Trailer. Uh, but what do the Cougars look like in Dana Holgerson's first season at Houston without quarterback Clayton Toon? Now, we'll move on to number four here, Nebraska at Minnesota. Matt Rule's first Big Ten test comes in week one at P.J. Flex Gophers. Now, does Rule make an immediate impact with all the transfers he's bringing in? What does Minnesota look like without their super senior leaders like uh, the quarterback Tanner Morgan, running back Ibrahim? Uh, we'll move on to number three now, Colorado at TCU. Deion Sanders' first game with the Buffs. TCU's encore performance after making the national championship game last season. Both teams are going to look completely different than a season ago as TCU is going to be without their three-headed offensive monster of Max Duggan, Johnston, and Miller. And Colorado was bringing in more talent than they've had in Boulder in quite some time. Number two, North Carolina at South Carolina in Charlotte. Drake May against Spencer Rattler. I mean, that's enough said, right? But I, I will say more. This pairs two teams that made, we'll say, interesting offensive coordinator hires this offseason. North Carolina with former Troy head coach and Gus Malzahn offensive coordinator Chip Lindsey. And the Gamecocks with former Arkansas tight end coach Dowell Loggin. Now, I'm curious what either team is going to look like this season on this one. And then number one, of course, uh, it's the Sunday game. LSU at Florida state in Orlando it's a battle of top 10 teams possibly top five teams both return stud quarterbacks both won 10 games last season you got Mike Norvell against Brian Kelly that, that coaching matchup should be incredibly interesting that's going to be your highlight of week one that is LSU and Florida State is where it is at Psst. hey if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button hit the subscribe button and of course jump in the comments Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.